I never dreamed of seeing that card with my own eyes. This is indeed a surprise. Behold, the greatest power that you and I shall unveil. It is the power to bring about a new beginning, or the ultimate end. With this newfound power, it might now be possible. Perhaps you can save those you hold dear from that which cannot be defeated. What you have in your hands is the power of the universe. Nothing is outside the realm of possibility for you now. We will soon reach your destination. It seems that, in addition to death, fate has also dealt you the wild card. You must accept your destiny. Our contract has been fulfilled. I have completed my role as well. You were truly a most remarkable guest. out there by yourself. No, don't go! <laughs> no, wait! What are you doing? Damn it! Why? Why the hell can't we get up? Don't do this! We've already come so far together! <sighs> God damn it! Gonna get through this together. Give him strength. Take my life if you must. I'm a heart and I'm ready to seize the day. Cause I know in your heart that it's hard for me. Believe in the game of possibility. Cause I'm all like a gift that I don't deserve. So I gotta give it back to you by all means. By all means necessary. Anybody else to y'all is secondary. Time is running out. If you have any, don't worry, I'm invisible. So let's do it. If I fall down, I'm gonna get back up. Right back up, man, to where I left off. Cause I got my crew on my back and I'm all ready You better come back from, from this! You hear me? <sighs> Don't believe it! He's going to face it all alone! No! He's not alone! I'm not letting him die! The end is coming in, so burn my dread Don't worry about it, and it's in my bag, so burn my dread. In the middle of a situation, every second I was losing patience. Couldn't execute like daily operations. We could, but well, we had such a deep relationship. But I chose the path right now, I'm sure. Giving my all for cure, plus more. I'm proud Whatever outcome I'm doing, I'm being desperate, however it's played out. Lose a little bit of a promise. Didn't you? Please, you have to make it back! 
Alright, let's do this. We... Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Yamakishi, is he alright? What happened? Everything disappeared after being covered in that light. I don't sense anything now. Don't tell me he... What the hell are you saying? It's impossible! Try again! Be the only one. <laughs> oh, wait. Damn it! Not again! We put our lives on the line just like he did. In fact, we came here expecting to die. So why only him? Why am I so powerless? Am I really unable to protect the ones important to me? This is what I was trying to prevent. You're out there, aren't you? I know you are! I refuse to believe that you're gone! Answer me! I know you're listening! We're here! Say something, please! <gasps> Don't worry. That voice! I will sleep once again. Peace will return to this universe. For you. And for him. <gasps> He's found the answer to life's greatest question. It just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you. Life's greatest question? I guess you'll find the answer one day as well. Your life, too, is precious. Irreplaceable. You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The bonds of friendship. The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. You will truly be liberated from its dominion. The legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. May we meet again, someday. Now we're... How did we end up back... Hey! Look over there! Whoa, uh, What's up with Tartarus? Happening. Everything's going back to normal. Our job is done. <sighs> Wait, is that? Again. Guys, come on. This isn't the time to be crying. <laughs> You're crying too, Sonata san. Finally, the team's all here. 
Leader. Huh? I'm... Oh no, they won't stop. What's wrong with me? Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Huh. You think so? Looking at the current third years? I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is frickin' study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, What's her name, then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me! Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move, too. Kirijo... Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yucatan. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. Well, Dad, uh, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. <laughs> well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Ah, oh, crap! somewhere else thanks you look like you're not feeling well sorry to bother you at a time like this but I appreciate it uh, hey sorry for calling you out here I actually have a little favor to ask mm. it's about my mom I want you to meet her 
I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that... I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her, I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? <laughs> You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um, you must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. Ow, Burn! You're supposed to deny that. <laughs> Jeez, you're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm the one who said it. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow. It's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> well, let's talk about the near future, then. Wanna go somewhere over spring break? Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. <sighs> like, if we stay the night and stuff. I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. <laughs> That's an embarrassing thought. We can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten, but I remember. That day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. 
weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate. I remember now. That's right, after my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Uh, am I forgetting something? Hmm? It's not a senpai. What are you doing? <laughs> Gurumaru! Uh, but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason... <laughs> Our promise! Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess... Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters. And find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, a 
since when I first understood. What mattered to me the most? And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. to live, so why am I... <laughs> They're here. I see it now. I have friends. We support each other through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. Thank you so much for everything. You must be tired. Go ahead and rest now. I'll be right here. I won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us. forevermore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 